Into the Woods is brand new to me. Um, I had heard about it. I've been doing musical theater for a long time. I had never experienced it, watched it, or known anything about it up until a few months ago. And what I feel like I've learned is Into the Woods to me is a very accurate depiction of what it's like to be human. And it shows very successfully the different obstacles that human beings have to overcome to get the things that they want. And life isn't always easy, and things aren't always fairy tales with a happy ever after, but you may get what you want in the end. My character, The Baker's Wife, and my husband in the show, The Baker, are very um, real human beings, and we portray this real journey that we're going through. It's very human. The story, um, there are some personal aspects going on in my life right now that really resonate with my character, and so it's such a therapeutic way for me to kind of get my feelings out and express myself. Um, because the work is so beautiful and the story is beautifully written, the music is gorgeous, um, it's a really great show, it's gonna be great. You see these characters in a whole different light, like Little Red Riding Hood, Jack of the Beanstalk, Cinderella, you see these characters go through so many real and human things that isn't typically seen in the fairy tales and I think everyone should come see this show. Without a doubt, this production has enlightened me to how much of a depth there is to the actual story. Uh, it's incredible. I think that's clear when you're watching the show, when you're watching the performance, and you're really soaking everything in. I was about eight years old when I saw Into the Woods for the first time, and I know that over the course of the last couple of decades, it has meant a lot of different things to me. When I was eight, it was fairy stories, and it was love, and it was romance, and it was danger, and it was risk, and it was happily ever after, but not really, and, and it felt like it was the first time I was seeing something that treated me with some adulthood. Even at eight, I was able to kind of feel that. And I know that it also holds a special place for a lot of people who see it, but in a totally different way. And I think that everybody who sees the show is going to experience it in a different way, and everybody's different way is valid. Um, this is a show about choices, and it's a show about love, and it's a show about consequences, and it's a show that treats its audience to what happens after, happily ever after, and the fact that that's not real and that's not life. I have watched these performers grow in ways that I had never expected them to, and I expect a lot of my students. Um, I have watched them tackle some very real life things and some very adult things through the lens of these fairy stories because in Act 1 we get the stories as we grew up knowing them and in Act 2 we find out what happens after ever after. And there have been real life things that have happened to my actors over the course of this show. Um, there have been real life things that have happened to our communities over the course of this show. And I have watched them channel that into making this the 
best performances that I have ever seen out of these students. And these are some talented kids.